Welcome to the Community Television Board of Directors regular meeting for March 26, 2018. Will the secretary please call the roll? Chair Gudger? Here. Director Fisher? Director Hall? Director Rand? Here. Director Wade? Here. Director Mannheim? Here. Director Laurent? Here. Director Maziars? Here. Director O'Driscoll? Here. Director Ellen? Here. Thank you. This is the point where oral communications, any person may address the board about items not on the agenda. Seeing none, we'll move to number three, consideration of late additions or deletions to the consent and regular agendas. Are there any? Seeing none, we'll move on to the consent agenda. On the consent agenda, we have the minutes from the last meeting. We have the Finance Committee meetings of March 19th, uh, uh, Finance Committee minutes and the recommendation of the Finance Committee to accept the February financial reports. Um, on those last two items, Tom, would you have anything to say? Just so we continue to be in good financial shape that um, revenues are tracking, they're, they're above our break-even point, is that right? Mm -hmm. so, Just a little, um, but I guess. Yes, <laughs> and looking better this month, I hear, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are there any questions about any of those three items? Seeing none, is there a motion? Move, move approval. The consent agenda. So Janice, move, there's a second? I'll second. A second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Or abstentions? Seeing none, we'll move on to the regular agenda, the first item being the oral report of the executive director. Okay, well, this is a positive report, I think. We are, um, oh, I'm, well, just a second. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> positive, yes. Visible, no. Let's see. I'm sorry. It's a good report anyway. You'll be happy to get it. Hmm. That's all we need can, I, can I ask a quick question? Well, there you go. Yes, ask the me next question. Oh, no, no, I was going to ask uh, just procedurally. I mean, since sure. I missed the last meeting, it's okay that I vote. I don't need to abstain on the. And I watched the meeting today on on uh, online. Right. So I, I don't need to abstain from voting on the minutes of the last meeting. Or, I don't no? believe so. Okay. I to my experts here. I don't you, think read, so. you read the minutes, right? I read the, the minutes and I, I and I watched the meeting. Well, I was at um, I was at the finance committee right. meeting. There you go. So. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for filling. So yes, we are in profit for this month. It's very exciting, and um, we uh, Alana has had a great month in the co-working center. Last last month we had some we had two big offices. Uh, people moved out, so that left us kind of you know in a, a little bit of a low ebb. But um, she has filled one of those offices up and. Um, we, we have one big one and one small one, but we're using the small one for the bucket of hours people, the people who just, um, they have memberships here and they, they pay for five or six hours a month and they use those. So we have to have something open for them to come in. So we, ever, we don't ever really want to have all the small offices rented. And so that hasn't been a problem yet. And uh, so that's how that one's being used. And we have five or six of those people. So that adds up to about 25 hours a month. So it's pretty used, that, that office, even though it's not rented. So that's a really good thing. I'm very happy, happy to be able to report that. And it's great that we bounce back so quickly. Sometimes we've lost a bunch of offices and it's taken us a real long time to build back up. So, but we're, we're over our break even point this month even so. So that was, that's a good, good resilience. I'm just curious, are, do you know, are we getting um, walk-in inquiries in any pace that would indicate things are picking up and people are? Ilana says yes. Yes, she says more people are coming in, and if sometimes like if we can't today, we had three or four people working all the time in the in the co-working center, so that that is good. Yeah, I know I can get some trend numbers from her if, um, and I'll do that for us next month so we can see how many right. how many people are strolling in. It would be interesting to know how many people are here every day. We get a lot of people on the weekends, and then of course there are people here at night that we never see. But so we know yeah. we in night the finance hours. committee we stopped tracking what we call satellite memberships. Right. But I get an email every time there's a new one, and it actually seems to me to have picked up in the last yeah. month. We're getting yeah. a lot of new memberships. Yeah, we're getting a few right. a week, and we've gotten mm -hmm. a lot of, um, sometimes I get confused. I get CMAP 
stuff in my head. <laughs> I think we're doing more mailboxes, and, mm -hmm. and we did a, an annual uh, membership today. So there's, there's like, they come pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. So it's that, that area, the cafe space, is sort of kind of like our gym. You know, we can sell a lot of those memberships because most people don't come all at the same time. So it's a, it's a good thing, and it seems to be picking up. So we can certainly do better, but I think... We're, it's not a hockey stick, but, <laughs> but we're moving up. Um, so captioning, it's so exciting. We're so close, we can almost taste it. Um, Victor and his team found out what they believed to be the last technical hurdle in the project was is a piece of equipment that we use to telecast. It's how we get our channels to Comcast, and it's called the Elemental. And the Elemental is five years old and hasn't been, its software hasn't been updated in five years. So uh, we are updating it now and, and it was a big jump as you know if you put try to put software in your computer and you skip the last several updates you can't just update so we had to wipe the thing update to last year and then add the new update once we have all those updates on and uh, Victor sent me a message today he thinks he's got everything done and he's going to come in tomorrow morning and finish um, we should be able to get our captions to Comcast that is the last hurdle in the in our chain of equipment to get it out. So what might happen tomorrow is once we get the elemental up to speed is it may, we may find out that now that it's changed its parameters, we might have to go back into some of our other equipment and change some things back there. So hopefully um, we, we paid for a support contract with the company that runs the elemental on the um, on the recommendation of Nick Brandt, and he said they would be very helpful in getting the captioning going. So, and they are. They have been helping Victor for a couple of days working on this, and so we feel like we might get this done this week. And I'm like the girl who cries wolf. I always, I'm very, it's warning, warning. I'm very optimistic all the time. <laughs> so I think that we are going to do it, and um, I'll let you know. Well, you'll be able to see. So would that mean that uh, we periodically have to uh, not be broadcasting? We we not had to, we were off three hours today, but that's it. We're good. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's okay. all we had to do, and uh, it was just three hours, and you know we were back in business pretty quickly. And I got phone calls. Did you? Mm. Darn it! No matter well, what we do. Uh, no, but the good. thing the thing good. is, it means that people are watching. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm sorry you got phone calls, but I'm glad people were watching. We did have a crawl on for a couple of days at yes. a time and a message. I told them. And we did warn you. We did, and then we had a thing. I don't know if Comcast put up their message. They were going to they put did. a message on the screen. But so it was cryptic. Know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, we moved beyond there now. We're back on the air, which is good. And um, we're supposed to be having captions pass through. And when that happens, you'll all get an excited email from me. <laughs> um, we, but one uh, big advancement is we have moved our on-demand service to YouTube. So now if you want to watch a government meeting on demand, you go to our YouTube channel. And there, there is a channel for every government meeting. So there's mm -hmm. one for the Board of Soups, one for Capitola, one for, for um, uh, the city of Santa Cruz, and anybody that we do, do recordings for. Uh, we are, some of those, up until the end of January, they're all captioned with perfected captions, not just the, we get raw captions right away and they're you know, full of mistakes. Then we go through and perfect them. And so all the January ones, January ones are perfect and we're working on February now. So uh, once we catch up, we'll be on it, and it'll be about a six-day delay, um, just because the meetings are so long. It's kind of an hour, it's a day, an hour. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if it's a six-hour meeting, it takes us wow. six days to do the captioning. Because there's a, well, the captioning goes through three phases, you know, it's the raw captions, and someone goes through and fixes it, then somebody goes through and checks that, and then it goes, and then it comes here, and, and we put it on, we put it actually onto the video. So, and then when we do that, we, we check it again and we kind of move it so it sticks. So the FCC has some pr pretty serious, um, you know, very exacting standards they want you to meet. And uh, the, the captioning has to be on the money. They can't be talking, it can't be three or four seconds behind. It has to be right on it. The names have to be there. Even sounds that happen like clapping or yelling or door slamming, those all have to be in there. And so it takes a while to get all that done. And it takes a lot of eyes to look at it and make sure it's all there. So by the time it gets on, it's had three or four passes. 
and so we're pretty sure it's perfect. So we have the perfected captions are going on only the Board of Supervisors. We have to, once we get that wired and we've got the, and the captioning is working, then we'll expand to, to others. And so let's see. Um, to see any of the meetings before January 2018, you would still go to our regular website. They're all archived there. We're not going to go backwards. Mm -hmm. We're only going to go forward. Are we going to put something on our website that makes yeah. clear? We actually need to do something like that. So I guess right. I need to talk to you about getting some, some a little paragraph on the website that says for anything after January, go to YouTube. We can have a link there. And is it possible to put something on our YouTube channel that would then refer people back for older meetings so that... I would think. I'm not sure where. Uh, let me look at that YouTube channel and see where I can I put it. Yeah, I sure. Maybe in the description. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can put it in the description. We, we can put it in the description. We'd have to put in every description. In every if description. you're not looking for this meeting... <laughs> yeah. well, well, no, it's just on the channel. Okay, we could put it on the... Thingy, what do they call that? The cover or the header or the mm, yeah. 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 banner? Yeah. We it would be good to have that just so that people know no yeah. where to go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, and we then, can do something like that. And then how about um, our board of directors meetings? Are we planning on doing something similar for, for these meetings? Captioning them? I don't think so. No, okay. not captioning. He's right. talking about putting them on the YouTube. YouTube, yeah, is what I would, but both. I, would, I, would, I was asking about both. Yeah. Oh, you would ask? Yeah, they'll be on the YouTube. Channel. Mm -hmm. I hate to ask this. Why wouldn't we caption our meetings? Because it would cost us a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's pricey. Okay. It'll have raw captions. They just won't be perfected. Does that meet whatever FCC requirements there are? It doesn't meet them, but we don't have to meet them. We're exempt. Oh. They'll be captioning. It just won't be, you know, there could be mistakes. Right. There could be words that aren't correct. So speak very clearly and enunciate. <laughs> <laughs> so the wrong captions <laughs> will be very precise. Yeah. Every <laughs> syllable. Every syllable. It will make the, make the knees twice as long. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to visit our YouTube channel, uh, it is CTV Santa Cruz County. And that's where you find our meetings. Um, let's see. Uh, I, think, I think I told you all of this. Okay. Um, we are doing um, coverage for 15 meetings in March, just a little bit down. We often get closer to 18 to 20, but this month only 15. Um, our, we did a, the documentation service covered a special meeting of the Santa Cruz Mid-County Groundwater Agency, which is a new one for us, but we don't think it's going to be recurring. They had a special presentation they needed to make, and we covered that. Um, and Victor, this year in that um, area, we've done or last year, I guess. He did $6,000 in there doing those little meetings. So we mm. think if we promote it more, we could do better. And uh, now we've got the right equipment and they've kind of got a system and, and now we could do it on a, uh, we could do more. We were kind of slow walking it a bit to make sure we got our system down. We don't want any big mistakes in the field. And we had a couple. <laughs> so uh, I think we've got that all Contained and we should we could promote this more if we wanted to now. I think we're in a position to do it and do it well um, We had the studio floor refinished Wow Look. Love Then wow. the roof leaked and we had oh. like some spottiness over uh. there <laughs> So um, wait did it pool or did it run? It pooled. <laughs> That's a good, that means they got it level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's level pretty much. It's smooth and, and it works we, they, they, Apparently there was a metal beam in the floor then that was causing that thing, that, oh. that the little peak. Yeah. And uh, that was, they had to grind that out, and they did a good job, and the floor looks very nice. We need to, um, we're going to have to have the janitor come in and mop it. It's a little dirty, and once we get it clean, we think we can maintain it. So that's a really good thing. That took a long time to do, and it, and it took a lot of people it, uh, uh, worked on this. Mm. We had a lot of help from um, Matilda and Keith, and who kept looking for people. We. We finally, it took us a long time to find anybody who would even talk to us, and then a bunch of them dropped the ball, and then we finally got this last one finally worked, and they did an excellent job. So we're really happy with this, and thanks to Matilda and Keith for persevering. And they kept hunting and asking everyone they knew. It was a real networking job. Mm -hmm. and, and we've also, uh, you might not have noticed, if you came through the front, we removed the cubicles and the chandelier. We recessed all the outlets in the floor. They used to stick up out of the floor, and now they're down flat, and they have nice brass covers, 
and they're safe and uh, you can plug in in a lot of places now. You can sit in chairs and desks all over the room and plug right into the floor, which is safer and cooler. And uh, I'm, I'm working, to, I'm still negotiating our mural for the wall, but I'm just about there. So hopefully next month you'll see that. And um, we're still working on the kitchen, trying to figure out a way to accommodate what everybody <coughs> wants. And um, we have found some small tables that we might put on the front. Um, we'll be, we'll bolt them down. <laughs> but but um, in the springtime, people want to go outside and be in the sun for a little while, and it's a good option for us to have. And we do have the back patio, but if we can have something in the front too, that, that'll be good. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to move on now to communications and advertising because um, I, I had written to you in this report that we got kind of a broad, sp stroke, a broad strokes proposal from uh, a Google partner agency in town and um, to use our a Google advertising grant. So Google, as I, I think I told you last time, Google grants nonprofits um, about a $10,000 ad budget a month for um, search advertising. And um, they feel like we are a good candidate to really make the most of that. So they made <coughs> us an incredible offer, really affordable. Basically, I don't think they're going to make any money on this, but they want to support a nonprofit mm -hmm. that they, they really liked our operation and what we did and our mission, and they want to help. So um, I met with them today, and um, <coughs> we're going to go ahead with this project. And I think we'll get a lot of, um, I think it's really going to help. I've been, I uh, always, Larry always asks me, when are you going to spend that advertising on? <laughs> and um, <laughs> I just we didn't feel comfortable with anything, and I didn't want to waste it. So um, I feel comfortable with these guys, and I think they're going to do a good job for us. And so we'll be making some small changes in our websites, and they have a lot of, um, they have some, they'll do some of that for us, which is really good. But the great thing is just to get their eye on it and, and to get their thoughts. And they seem very serious, and I've met a lot of them, a number of them at a meeting that I went to here in town, and, and I spoke with the leader there today. And so uh, I'm going to move forward with that. And... Um, also, we were once again the runner-up in best co-working um, in the in town in the in the good times best of. So um, that's that's always. And who good. was number one? Oh, it's always next base. <laughs> it is. Okay. Yeah. So Cruz I O is after us then. <laughs> yes. Oh. As, yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> so we'll um, the next year we want to be number one. So uh, we're going to keep working hard. We'll have a couple of ads in the paper to say thank you to our, our, uh, our members. And I think that's great. We've gotten some nice reviews um, on the website about our um, Yelp, about our uh, co-working center. And a lot of them have to do with bagels. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if we can Good get investment. New, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we could get a new category for best... Uh, co-working digital media so we probably be the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, get number we, one we every year yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> and now on that topic I was able to I met this month with a uh, local uh, production well they're they're a branding company and they do production and they came in and they saw what we have and they were very excited about not only renting some stuff from us possibly leasing some stuff from us and also they had um, some uh, they had some really good suggestions for things that would be rentable all the time. So I'm working with them now to come up with a photography package because mm. we have the DSLR cameras, but we don't have any of the things that go with them. And sometimes people buy the camera, but they don't have the extras. So we're looking at a package of strobe lights and things like that that would make that and mm -hmm. lenses. And um, uh, they, they also had some suggestions of people that could help me put that package together. So um, I will follow up on that, and that should be a, a good thing for us. And, and we got an offer, a couple of interesting offers this month on big pieces of equipment that are useful for rental but not good to have in your house. <laughs> if you have a production company where you store stuff at home, um, a crane and, um, and a dolly. So those are really good things that we could mm. probably rent regionally, but we uh, most people don't want to have those and because you don't use them all the time. But but they do. They make a great. They are really cool, especially Dolly. Beautiful shot. 
So um, anyway, was, we'll move on to equipment grants because we have some, some action in there. Um, Aptos High School has documentaries ready to go and upload to CTV. They contacted me just about how long they could be. And um, it was very exciting. So we're going to get stuff from them right away. Watsonville has been practicing. And uh, we got, we finally were able to find the headsets that they need for the announcers, for the sports announcers. So they're going to pick those up on Wednesday, and I expect stuff from them pretty soon. We should get some sports on. And uh, Digital Ness is preparing for uh, the committee, our grant committee, a report so we can see what, what they've been doing. And we should have that before our board meeting next uh, month so that the committee can report on, on what Digital Nest has been doing. The, we updated, the grant committee worked really hard to update the grant documents. Now that we had a year in, we know where they aren't doing the job that they need to be doing. <laughs> we've, we've tweaked all of that stuff and updated them. We've made it kind of streamlined, real clear, and uh, we posted the new one. So if you're out there and you're a youth organization and you need some video equipment, please go look at those grant documents. I'm talking to you, Harbor and SoCal High School. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, and about, yeah, what about Santa Cruz High School? Santa Cruz High School, too. Yeah, that's a good point. We haven't heard from them. So, yeah, yeah, that'd be good, too. Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. get going. Um, let's see. I'll I think say that's all high schools throughout the All high schools. <laughs> well, we've, I think we've PZ. Yeah. SLV. Mm -hmm. SLV. So, yeah. right. I was wondering about uh, oh, AFE. Yeah. Scotts, There's actually. Scotts Valley. Scotts, Valley. Scotts Valley. Yeah. What about the homeschoolers at AFE? Yeah, uh, there you go. They're, they're over in the Brant Safordi, uh, the small schools campus there. I don't know if. The small schools campus. That sounds fun. So the mm -hmm. a AFE is alternative family education, so yeah. it's mm -hmm. a homeschooling yeah, yeah, yeah. community. Yeah. So any, any youth organization, any organization that has curriculum and has a teacher and knows how to use video equipment is welcome to That's the cat. to apply. Well, it's not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's the rub. I don't know. So are these the, are these the three that currently have? Right now we have Ap uh, Zaptos, Watsonville, and um, Digital, Nest. Digital Nest. Yes, and Digital okay. Nest. Those are our three. So we want to get everybody. So we want to, and we would love to put equipment in the hands of, of every organization that serves youth in every school. So we're excited to do it. That's um, that's it for this month. Mm, thank you. That's a lot. Very good. That's great. Good news. All right. Any more questions, Rebecca? Thumbs up. On. So we're not going to let that go off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Next item uh, needs some background. The amendment to the lease. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're doing an amendment to the lease. <laughs> and the, the reason is when in our first lease it was not clear how improvements to the building would would uh, come about and then would be paid for. And, the, and traditionally, I guess it's customary for the lessor, like we are, or the leasee at, at a long-term lease, to pay for some of the things that go on in the building. So um, that wasn't detailed in our lease. And so the landlord made a purchase for the building that does benefit us, but we really didn't have an agreement on how that purchase would come about, how we would take part in it, if we would pay for any of it. And so um, first, uh, it is a purchase that benefits us and we would have had to probably do something like it anyway. So we should go ahead and, and um, pay for our portion of, of, of this purchase. And uh, now we put together, an, the, uh, there's an uh, amendment to the lease that details how we'll do it, how it will happen, and so that we get a chance to have input and that we get um, an opportunity to um, say yay or nay, and uh, that we know in advance, and it can't be just mm. sprung on us, we've done this, mm. now you have to pay. So, um, and uh, everybody's okay with this. And but the, what we're gonna, what we're, Keith is gonna ask you to look at tonight is, it's not, we don't actually lease this building from the owner, we lease it from uh, satellite. They have the lease with the owner. So what you'll be looking at is the amendment that Barbara has, is creating to go to the building owner. And mm -hmm. then we will have a mirror uh, amendment that does mm -hmm. exactly the same thing in, in, our, in our lease to Barbara. So to make that Barbara really can't sign a thing like that without knowing whether we will. <laughs> so we're looking at it now mm -hmm. um, in, in anticipation that that will happen and, and then we'll be signing our own amendment. So that's the reason for it, and that's the that's what we're going to do with it. The first thing that's going to happen due to that amendment is a payment for the security system in the building. 
Are there other tenants in the building? No, well, okay. no, the owner, well, sort of. Um, the owner of the building has a business in the back. And, uh, but, but that, it's one of those things where the building, I think, is incorporated and the business is separate and the business is, you know, running from its self. But they get to pay of. for a pro rata share of yeah, the Yeah, we have 70.3% yeah. of the building and they, mm -hmm. they have the rest. And so when, when we do things like this, we pay, like we pay 70% of the, the, electric, the electricity and things like that. And, and, you know, we have a triple net lease and so part of that mm -hmm. comes to us. And so this is one of those things that we should pay part of. Um, I had uh, well one question and one comment. In uh, item two, there's a fro in there. There's a what? Uh, a fro. A fro? I, it seems to be a for or a from. Uh, I, you know, fro PG&E. Oh. Monthly bill fro. Oh, from. From, from PG&E. Okay. So that, yeah. That's my, my one little spelling mistake. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that. Two and I, I'm not. I, I don't have control over that. Um, it's uh, we do. Uh, there's only one meter here, right. so we just share the electricity. We kind of trust that they're not running hair dryers all day back there. <laughs> well, they <laughs> they do they give us backup. Um, they provide us with the actual bill. So yeah, yeah, we yeah, they're not doing anything weird. Back they're not here. mining bitcoins. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're a roll, my yeah. friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had a little nap in the car before I came. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then a question about the parking. I wasn't totally clear oh, on yeah, that. Oh, um, yeah. So this that, was part of our deal. We did a lot of negotiation with them to get this. And one of the things that we had uh, in our original lease, it said that the parking would be unassigned. Mm -hmm. And then Armada assigned some of it to itself. Mm -hmm. And we didn't feel like the um, apportionment was fair. And so we asked them in this deal to give us the parking, and they did. So they're all unreserved now? Even yes, if they, they should say, all be Even if they say Armada, they're... Okay. Yeah. Are they going uh, to remove Armada from... I mean, is, will people know they can use those? We could ask them to do that. I mean, yeah. otherwise, even though they, right. they're not reserved technically, right. nobody would use them if they thought they... If they were. thought they were reserved, exactly. Yeah. The reserve for us because we know yeah. about it. Right? So we have <laughs> those are for staff. Do we need to have a spray paint party in yeah. like the right. floor? Yeah. I also found one extraneous word in here. So if if this ever gets cleaned up, yeah. in addition to the fro before PG and E, right? Um, on number four, where it says it will be deemed that tenant tenant does not agree to, and then it says the pay for it, pay its pro rata share, the, the should just come out. Oh yeah, okay, good, thank you. I'll let Barbara know. Yeah, we're back to the parking. So, yeah. Sorry, there's, no, no problem. So, uh, there isn't any apportionment. It's, it's it's supposed to be unreserved. Unreserved for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. from reading it, it seemed to me like there was still gonna be an apportionment, but nothing would be actually marked. But, well, which of course would make it unenforceable, but. but. Right. Well, the, the spirit of the thing is that if we start to get hundreds of clients <laughs> and they can't park, that wouldn't be fair. Right. So um, we want to make sure that they, they have enough parking, yeah. but they do. So it, it isn't a problem. Yeah. But, it, but we get those, those spaces go unused because they're marked and our I people see. are parking somewhere else I and see. they could be parking here. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is right. It's kind of weird that they even after they say they'll be unreserved, they go into the whole thing about the, sh the pro rata share. And so it wasn't just here. No, no, no. It's it's they, they, there's an extension about that. You're like, well, if they're all unreserved. What does it matter what the pro rata? Share? I mean, I think what they're saying is that you know, I mean, to me, it looks like 22 are really still designated. Right, but not, not any specific 22. Right. No, right. and before you. what they had done was they had subtracted out. Well, what they did was they subtracted out, it seemed to us, that they had taken out the handicap spots, mm -hmm. figured out what was left, and they gave us 70% of, and they took the 30% of that. And mm -hmm. our 70% included all the handicap spots. So that made it oh, a little unfair okay. for mm -hmm. us, we thought. Mm -hmm. And so we approached them with this new plan. And mm -hmm. so, Hopefully yeah. it'll not and be an issue. they have never bothered yeah. anybody that, yeah. well, they did yeah. a couple times, but they stopped right away. Okay. bothered and so they don't hassle people that park in the spots that are marked or mod and it happens and okay. you know no one's patrolling the parking lot or anything well, we just wanted yeah. we just wanted it more formal mm -hmm. it sounds good so okay 
So I want to make sure we're all clear. What you have in front of you is the agreement that Satellite will sign with the owners of the building. Right. And it will be incorporated in our document. So if we vote to approve this, we're approving <clears throat> that this language corrected will go in our sublease from Satellite. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's clear. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure. So at the beginning of the lease, the S, the, the operating share was twenty four seventy seven, but that didn't include the utilities, and now it's going up to forty six fifty nine, which does include the utilities. I'm trying to. So the landlord has and which number? So originally it said at commencement, landlord estimated tenant share of operating expenses at twenty four hundred seventy seven dollars and sixty seven. Oh yeah, that was it, not right. Okay, and then number six now says forty six hundred. Yeah, because that turned out to be just totally wrong. Okay. Um, they okay. they they only had they had like ten people working here in this giant building and, and it didn't cost as much to run it as it does now mm -hmm. with all of our okay. staff and all of our co working okay. people. So we based it I think it was thirty five cents a square foot when we first started and it turned out to really be like sixty nine cents. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's why it is a big jump but it's mm -hmm. it's this authentic. Is, this this is what really backup. this is what really that's is really actual. Okay. Yeah, we've seen the bills. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. We were just guessing at the beginning. As you know. Hmm. Okay, so for item eight, uh, we could have a motion that is, is acceptable for. Will we be directing you, Becca, to accept these changes into our sublease when they happen? Yeah. Or you and I. Well, However, you want to do it. I'm looking for a motion if we have no more discussion. I'll make the motion. And your motion is? is to uh, accept the language as amended uh, with those two corrections um, to the uh, lease, the sub lease, the sub -lease the with uh, uh, satellite. I'll second. Okay. All right. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Our abstentions? Seeing none, we probably had the little item that, that as part of getting this lease change, <coughs> we're agreeing to pay for the security system. Um, and Becca, you want to describe yeah, I can that? talk about that. It's more than a system. It's actually a bunch of cameras and uh, actual work by the, um, a, the AADT company. They actually watch. They have cameras. They watch them. It's and if monitored. they see something going on, they send a patrol. So someone actually comes out to our building. So um, that's why it's kind of expensive. It's partly the partly the gear, but it's also the people. And so that's a it's kind of pricey, but it's actually a good thing because we do. I mean, Alana and Angelisa both have picked up hypodermic needles on our front mm -hmm. porch, and you know, cans of you know liquor and bottles, and it's so after dark. It's a little different here than it is during the day. So that patrol thing is pretty good. We are not happy with the fact that we have had actually two break-ins and they haven't seen those. Mm. So I, once we are part of the paying of this, I'll go meet with them and we'll see if we can refine the coverage of the cameras a little mm. bit and maybe, um, I think they work, I'm not sure, there are two ways cameras can work. Some of them are just kind of always on and others will happen when there's motion. Mm. So we in need to make recording. sure, yeah, they record when something moves. Mm. So we want to make sure that they're pointed at the right places. Mm -hmm. We had we had a break in and we had a bicycle stolen right off our front porch, and the, no cameras got either of these things. Mm. So mm. Victor worked with the cameras on the front because those are actually adjustable and they were within our reach. So we fixed those, but the back cameras need to be adjusted. So mm. once we're part of the paying for this thing, we'll make sure it works a little better for us. And so this cost it includes installation, installation and for and the four, full 48 months or is this just a, a... So this is for the installation? Part, I think it is part of the installation and the cameras and the maintenance and the people watching and the patrol-y thing. Yeah. Okay. And Wouldn't there be a monthly fee And for it's a monthly monitoring? fee. I just put the 48 months in there because that thing we just said we were going to approve right. yeah. says that any expenditure of this mouth is payable over 48 months right mm -hmm. 
So okay. I want to make sure that we were clear, if we agree to this, <clears throat> we're not agreeing to spend that money today, we're agreeing mm -hmm. to spend it over a, the, the lease change timeline. But it's not clear what the uh, term of the coverage is, or the contract with ADT is. Right? Is, that, is that the vendor? Yeah, I'm not sure actually either how long. Who, what was the, did, did we say what the vendor was? Or we? Uh, the vendor is, I don't think it's first alarm, I think it's ADT. Yeah. But um, maybe we need to get a clarification from Barbara on the money. I just know the money, I just know the 25,000 number from meetings I've been in. I actually haven't seen any documentation on that. Okay. Do you want to do up to that much for 48 months so we can move forward? Or how can we make this possible? To Sounds good. Well, do you need us to approve it today? Or we need a month? And we need to, well, it'd be good if we could approve it because, well, let's approve the, I guess the most important thing is to approve the amendment, but this is in the amendment, isn't it? Well, no, it's not. Okay, good. It so. says that we need to pay in the amendment, right? But it doesn't say yeah. how much. Okay, let's so do I the amendment. So I had to just pull those numbers out. I got yeah, the 25000 from you. Right. I got the 48 months from the amendment. Right. But uh, yeah. it's a little unclear. I think we need to nail this down. So and we approved the, approving the amendment. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll get, we'll get real numbers for this and do that. The reason I wanted the amendment done is because Barbara's been waiting for us already about six weeks. Right. And she's been keeping the landlord waiting, and he rightly wants to know where he stands. So I think if we can, we can probably figure out the, we'll get the real numbers, and then we'll we'll approve the payment. He's, as long as we do it within a month, I think we're good, and I think we can do that. Um, I guess we could actually table this, but the thing I'm wondering about is, because once you agree to the sublease. You're put, committing yourself to paying some amount of money for the system when it was installed. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm wondering, do you need some kind of approval from us to make that commitment as well as the lease change? She's just saying, mm -hmm. which, which is fine. If not, that's okay. We, I we just can, want to make we sure. We can approve up to $25,000 at this point. So that gives her some leeway to to pay some of the bills that are coming up. Why? I mean, I would be fine with something like that approving, leaving it to the to you as the executive director to pay up to $25,000, whatever mm -hmm. you in find out is actually frame. documented. Right, yeah. I'd also want to add in here that, that this payment would be contingent upon them accepting the contract with Satellite. Yeah. So that because that's what this is all predicated on so I, I, I yeah well if the, we, we are we will not be obligated to do anything by this this isn't our contract it's just what we're saying is that we'll if if satellite presents us something like this we would do it so but I I guess what I would want to see since um, one of the you know the changes in um, the changes in the contract are changes that we want because it gives us clarity going forward in terms of how we're going to handle capital improvements. Yes. And so, and I'm, I understand why they would want to get paid for the alarm system they put in. Mm -hmm. My suggestion is that Except. let's make sure they accept the contract that we want, the changes with. Oh, yes, I get, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I yeah, definitely yeah. agree yeah. with you on that. Yeah, too. yeah. 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 And yeah then so that's once, the only once, reason we're doing it. Right. So <laughs> once they once they have, a, um, once Satellite has a contract change with TAV, mm -hmm. is that it? Yeah. Then and we can, we then, then, we can look at the numbers and do the, we'll, yeah, we'll approve right. the other thing. Right. Yes, once there's a real contract. Exactly. That's right. the whole point. It's kind of the. Right. But what, but the contract comes first, then we pay. Just make ours contingent upon that yes. and give you authority up to $25,000. Well, it's once you've seen the documentation. Yeah, what? it's only 17, 17 something. 18,000. Uh, pardon 18, me, up to 17,000. 18,500. 18, yeah. yeah, up to 18,000. Okay, that, I think that works. Yeah? Yeah, I believe so. Does it And that word predicated, I like. Yes. Mm -hmm. Contingent. So you Contingent upon the other. Right. All right, so that, that a motion? So, let, that I, so why'd you make a motion? I so moved. You need me, Larry, to. No, I got, you got it. it. I got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I'll second that. I move by your 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a moving experience this is. <laughs> Well, I would feel better if Larry could read back to us exactly what yeah. it says. Okay. Um, so we know what we're voting on. Okay. So, <laughs> approve the expenditures in the in the of eighteen up to eighteen thousand dollars, contingent upon the approval of the contract by both the landlord and the leasee to have it in, added to the sublease. Is that correct? So we won't approve the spent the the eighteen thousand until the contract between um, satellite and the landlord has been approved and that language is in the sublease. Yeah. Correct. Perfect. All right. Any uh, other? Are, are, is, are we including the asking for clarification about whether that's this amount is just for the initial installation of the system or if it includes any sort of monthly charges or? Uh, I think we're gonna do that, but it's gonna be a separate have to be, thing. Have to be it's part kind of, of a separate issue. Okay. We'll get that information. Okay. And we don't, we don't have it today and we probably want to get it so we can decide mm -hmm. there'll be a process while this yeah. happens and right it stands the reason that might be just separate that this this amount is just for the equipment and the installation yeah, it's just if this happens then we would go forward with the other okay okay call the vote any other questions before we vote okay all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed or abstentions okay We'll move on to the Volunteer Advisory Committee Chair Report. I'll keep it brief today. Uh, basically, uh, the Volunteer Advisory Committee, some of the members who helped with the f uh, putting everything out and in for the floor, uh, we're very excited. People are very excited about the floor. And I hope it also means that uh, people <clears throat> are continuing and making more uh, programs. And there are actually some programs that I just want to mention you that I did a program with mm -hmm. two of um, Janice's uh, employee about the library and and um, it was really a pleasure. And I think there's going to be more because the library is doing so much that there's so much content that we could draw from that. Uh, but I also know that the director for today, she continues with her program. Uh, What's it called? The Descendants the of, the imagination. of the Imagination. And I think we have a couple of uh, new people doing, uh, or renewal people doing programs. Uh, we will, uh, once we have the green screen back in, we will have another green screen uh, class workshop for producers and directors. So uh, that's exciting. Other than that, um, volunteers are volunteering. <laughs> that's that's what we do best. Yeah, May I add to your? Logo? You can. Yeah. Well, the um, I thank Matilda and Keith for helping me find somebody to finally do the floor. Uh, actually, not helping me, they actually did it. And uh, but I forgot to thank all the people, and there were lots of people that came in here and took down all these heavy curtains and mm -hmm. put them back up again, yeah. and took out everything in the studio had uh -huh. to be removed, mm -hmm. and there had to be plastic run across the ceiling to protect all the lights mm, and it was wow. like hard and not you know hard and not fun. icky work not mm. any fun and uh, not not particularly rewarding <laughs> so I want to thank all of those volunteers who did that and gave up a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon to come in and do that work and and carrying out those green screen panels it was difficult and they were heavy and bulky and mm. they had to go quite a ways with them so um, you know, special thanks to all of those people who volunteer for us Hopefully they got some hours, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But so you somewhat know, rewarding. But yeah. they need things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. The, the, absolutely. Reward, the, reward, the reward is in the floor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and since we all have our two feet on the ground, we're solidly continuing what we do best is volunteering. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's excellent that we couldn't do it without the volunteers, so it's wonderful to have them. Yeah. The reward is in the floor, but hopefully not Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> <laughs> I have pictures of when we had it all empty and plastic all over the ceiling, if you want to see it after the meeting. I <laughs> the before and after. Uh -huh. It's a sight to be seen. Okay. That's my report. Thank you. The next report is the oral report of the board chair. And the only thing I wanted to talk about this month is that we scheduled a fund development meeting uh, last week. We didn't have a quorum. But we still, Judy and Becca and I met, and we had a very productive 
meeting. That's why there are no minutes here. It wasn't an official meeting. We just sat and t chatted. And I had already asked Judy ahead of time if she would say a few things about what we discussed here in the board meeting. Great. Um, so we talked about, one educated me about how, you know, uh, community TV works and the need for, you know, putting some of this money at work. Uh, so we actually addressed uh, and invited uh, Eric uh, Ressler uh, from Cosmic uh, Media Agency to spend some time with us. And he spent an hour telling us about their needs. Um, and I had known of this uh, uh, agency because we like video and we were thinking of using videos for uh, Sandbox. And so uh, we thought they might be a good candidate to sort of educate us on what was important uh, and if they had any needs for equipment leasing and so on. And they had quite a few ideas. Uh, we're looking into them. Um, they had lighting ideas, they had camera and lens ideas that they might need. Uh, though they're going back and thinking about whether they would want to purchase them or work with their partners. They have media partners uh, to do that. And I think we left it to Becca to actually follow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then there was another, uh, just a spur of the moment while I was talking to Becca, uh, actually Startup Sandbox has some equipment needs. Uh, which are not for video equipment, uh, but at least to find out how it all works, we put that through and Becca took it to the CFO and it seemed a little outside the purview of video equipment and so on. It's more like lab benches and centrifuges and refrigerators and so uh, we weren't sure if that was too far outside the box. And so we left it for a future discussion and the actual next meeting. <laughs> Too far outside the sandbox? <laughs> yes, it's in our sandbox, but I'm sorry. I I can <laughs> uh, but it was a good meeting, and we have some good leads, and so we have more to follow up on. That's great. Thank you. Okay, so the next item is the board member or staff request for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. Um, I know. If there is more detail on the money for the security system, we would like to see that in the next agenda. Yes, yes. Is there any other things that we know of? Um, the next meeting will also be the budget. Becca is already working on it and sent it to the finance committee, so uh, they're already looking at that. So that. And then it was mentioned earlier the report back from the grant committee, the youth grant committee. Okay. Um, and we were oh, expecting that on digital. We're expecting yeah, we digital. Yeah, we have the digital in that report. Yeah. Particular so, yeah. Yeah. They'll be able to report yeah. on that report. <laughs> okay. Yes, I want to make sure I knew what that was. Yeah. And um, I was wondering. I, I don't know if it was Tom or, or Joe had mentioned something about a, 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 a since I'm new to the board fairly um, a spring retreat. Is that something that we ha continue to do? Is it something that didn't, did you mention it? Uh, no. I'm we've done so. it in the past. In the past, uh, spring. I thought somebody mentioned. We did that. a winter one before, and we've done an August one since we don't have an August board meeting. We've done okay. it in August before. I see. And that might be an appropriate time. Um, I was hoping that um, as, as the fund development committee works through some ideas and we have some solid proposals, not only would they come to the board meeting, it might be appropriate mm -hmm. to have a, a board retreat. Mm -hmm. and, okay. uh, and we can talk discuss. offline. I'm just curious what that mm -hmm. looks like and what happens and. You know, is it at Esalen in the hot tubs? No. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen the budget, have you? What's been in the hot tubs, my car? I looked at the budget. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And then another item, uh, and it doesn't have to be for next meeting, but I just thought as an idea, um, while we're waiting for content from the youth grantee awardees, um, that maybe we send a production team out to them to create some kind of a spot about how, how this came about. Mm. Um, and what great things are happening because of it. Hmm. So. We don't have any staff. We don't. Okay. Yeah. If we could find some volunteers, so we volunteers. could recruit some volunteers. 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 Yeah, we can't, we can't orchestrate that. Okay. That's, we don't, and the one good thing about us, I think now, in the production world of Santa Cruz is we don't produce things. Mm -hmm. So we are resource and support for local producers. So we don't, we actually don't enter into production anymore. Okay. Although I think it would be a great idea. It is a great idea. idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. What, what I mean is, if one school went to another school mm -hmm. and, and, and looked around, also make a good connection there, mm -hmm. there look around go. what they do, and then that school does the, the, the Digital Nest, and Digital mm -hmm. Nest does the first school. I think that would be a great mm -hmm. connecting. 
yeah. thing and they can do little documentaries about each other's programs. Mm. Right. Well, I like yeah. your idea better yeah. than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and we can use it to promote the youth grant program as yeah, well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Embed the video on the grant program page. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can work on that with those three groups. Sure. Why not? We'll but talk about it. Yeah, we can talk to them about it. We don't require it. So no, no, no. But it's it would sort be of nice. Like up to them. If they, Intent, not judge. They want to. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can only we can. dream, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Of course. We can dream. Yeah. M maybe next year the grant committee can rewrite the requirements. <laughs> that is <laughs> 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 Give us one uh, five minute PSA of our choice. Right. Uh, yeah, you could say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. All right. Any other uh, requests? Okay, then we'll go to announcements. I'd like to thank the volunteers that helped on tonight's production. Linda Janakis, Karen Scott, Jim Russo, Nick Kirkendall, Sherry Ross, and Don Bardwell. And with that, we're ready for adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None, so we're gonna adjourn at 6.20 p.m. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>